All right, guys, let's get right into it. This is my morning routine, and this is the Clean and Clear uh, morning scrub. It's called Morning, morning Burst. This is Ambie's um, Evening Clear uh, Exfoliant. This is my toner. This is the L'Oreal Hydration Toner. And this is another Ambie product. This is a fade cream. It actually really works. <laughs> and this is by Nivea, the moisturizer that I use every day. So right here I'm just uh, wetting my face with some warm water. Um, warm water opens your pores and everything. So I just like to, I like to wet them with the way my face with warm water sorry i got a text message <laughs> all right so i'm putting the uh clean and clear all over my face i like to rub it in it may look like i'm going kind of hard i think that's because I, I sped the video up but i'm actually not going that hard because i have very sensitive skin and i will be extremely red afterwards this came with a um, body scrub brush uh, i tried it out i Actually like it I mostly use it just for around my nose area my chin and like um, my for a little bit of my forehead not a lot so then I go ahead and rinse I rinse with warm water um, because I still like to keep my pores open right here also I use paper towels to dry my face but I didn't dry right there really I just um, got my eyes but this is the uh, Exfoliant. That's why I used warm water because I still wanted my pores to be um, open for this part as well. Um, just because it is for acne as well too. But um, yes, yeah, so this is a very gentle exfoliant. Um, it's excellent for sensitive dry skin. That's what I have. Very dry skin because I have eczema on my face as well as other parts of my body. I don't know what I just did right there, but yeah. Alright, so after that, I wash my, I rinse my face with cold water. Not too cold because I can't stand it, but yeah, somewhat cold. So I take my paper towel again and I am going to pat my face dry, not rub, pat. I don't know what I was listening to. But yeah, try to get my face to dry um, before I move on to my toner. These are just normal cotton rounds. I probably got them from like Family Dollar or something like that. So, the way I do my toner is I take one side of the cotton round and dab it twice with the toner and do one side of my face. Then I flip the cotton round, do it twice again with the toner and do the other side of my face. I don't know why I do that, but I started and it became a habit. Yeah. And I was just showing you guys there wasn't any excess dirt. I've been really loving this Starbucks cup. It's like my favorite. So this is the fade cream. I mean the fade cream. What I do is I just dab a little bit all over the dark spots. Um, I have a lot of dark spots. I noticed that this also works under your eyes as well. For your, like your dark circles and stuff but this has been working wonders like I am so in love with this stuff like I will forever use it um, I go very gently um, when I rub it in I think I was listening to Rihanna's uh, work anyways this is the Nivea cream um, it's very thick that's how I like my moisturizer to be extremely thick because my face is extremely dry <laughs> but yeah uh, this stuff has been working great too. I've been using this for like a month now and I, I'm in love. I won't change it. Like I'm a Nivea person all over Nivea soap and everything. Anyways, switching to my nighttime routine. This is clean and clear deep action. And then this is the Clarisonic Mia 2, which I got from Macy's um, about a year ago actually. I use the same toner and the same fade cream 
and the same moisturizer. I'm a simple girl. Oh, I do put this on top. This is the Garnier Moisture Rescue. I put that over my um, Nivea cream, but only in certain spots. Oh, I use Pampers to take my makeup off. Why? Because I found that it worked and it doesn't break my skin out. And I have a case of them anyway because I have a toddler. So why not? It removes my makeup excellent. So I figured why change when it works so basically I don't know why I do this as well I use one for one side of my face and another wipe for the other side of my face I don't know why I do that I probably should try to change so I won't go through so many but that's just what I do and then I take the third one and just go over just to make sure I got majority of it off of my face just so I won't all up my uh, my Clarisonic. All right. So then I wet my face with warm water. And then what I like to do is take the. Clean and clear and rub with my hands first. This stuff does not foam up at all and I actually kind of like that because I hate soap getting in my eyes and stuff. So then I take the Clarisonic and I put a little bit more on it on top of the Clarisonic and just go around. Now if you don't know how the Clarisonic work, I actually have a video from a year ago on it. You can go back and watch that video and there's a million videos on YouTube about it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so after I have rinsed my face and everything, I go in with, I don't know why I didn't show that clip. But I just do my toner the exact same way. I don't know why that clip wasn't there either. Oh my god. Okay, so this is my fade cream and I am going through again. And just doing the same exact moves. Only thing different I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to put my uh, moisture rescue stuff on top but right in my t-zone because my t-zone is normally oily for other people but it's actually really dry so that's it guys i hope you enjoy and make sure you subscribe